I'm Lindsay and today I'm going to show you how to make an owl coil pot. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the base of my pot. So I'm going to press it down slightly with my hand and my fist just to get the rough shape. If you've got a cookie cutter, that's quite handy. Um, add a rolling pin. So, let's turn it over. Make sure that the thickness is even. If you can, just pick it up and have a little look. Now, I'm rolling this out on a mat. If you roll it out on a wooden table, it will get stuck. So either use a cutting mat like I am, or you can use a piece of fabric. I'm now gonna cut a circle. As I say, if you have a cookie cutter, that works equally well. Just carefully cut a circle and then take away the excess clay. Okay, so it's about this thick. Okay, I'm going to put my base to one side and I'm going to make coils. So I'm going to start just shaping it into a kind of sausage shape and then begin rolling it. So you can use two hands and as you roll, use even pressure and just gently spread your fingers out like this to start lengthening the coil. Now I've got a scoring tool here. If you don't have one of these, you can use um, a, cocktail, a wooden cocktail stick um, or a fork, anything like that that you might have at home. And what we do to make sure that this attaches properly is we do scoring. So we literally just score it all the way around the edge here. It's especially important um, on the base. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same on the bottom of the coil. On the bottom of the coil. Score all the way along here. Then I'm going to go across and just wet my finger and I'm going to run it along where I've just scored on the coil. This acts almost like a glue. It's called slip. So it's, it's essentially wet clay. And then I'm going to turn that surface over and I'm going to put it on here and very carefully Press it down all the way to here. I'm just going to use my fingers and my thumb and I'm going to make sure that it's properly on and it's the right shape. Now I've overlapped slightly here so I can just take a knife and I can just cut off. I'm just carefully going to squeeze that, smooth it across to make a nice join. When we build up the sides with coils, uh, we won't have a join here again because that will be weaker, a bit like a, a brick wall where the bricks are always um, staggered. Okay. And I'm just gently going to smooth the coil onto the base. Okay, so that's the first one attached and I'm going to go ahead and score the next. This is our weaker spot here. it slightly over there, press it down and make sure that it's perfectly straight and then again I'm going to use my fingers to just smooth those sides down. You can kind of squeeze it with your finger and thumb as well like this. This join here, I'm going to use my finger to smooth the join so that it's perfectly sealed. As you can see here, I'm just using my fingers on the inside here to gently smooth inside the pot as well. The clay is very soft, so you have to be careful not to make it um, too misshapen. Just, just take your time. So I've made some more coils. I'm just going to carry on um, building up the sides of the pot. Either 
use a, a spray bottle to make your clay wet. Oh, I've just got a little dish here and I'm just doing it with my fingers. And so you basically support it on the inside and very carefully drag it upwards. Just to smooth it out properly. Just make sure that the shape stays the same and that you don't um, bend it. Okay, so I've smoothed down the sides of the pot and I'm ready to start adding the face for the L. So now I'm going to make the eye area and I've used a rolling pin um, and I've smoothed over some clay to this kind of thickness, if you can see that. And I'm roughly going to cut out the shape of the eye area. I'm going to use this knife here. If you've got one of these, then you can use this. Otherwise, if you've got a knife that you can borrow from the kitchen, then use that. Once I've cut it out, I'm going to just pop it onto the pot and make sure it's the right sort of size. That's fine. So then I'm going to use it as a template and cut out a second piece. Just take your time, very gently cut round. Now when you're attaching clay from one surface to another, you need to score each surface. So I'm going to score the first surface here, the tool up this way, and then across in the other direction. Okay, so I've scored both surfaces. I'm going to pop some water, carefully place it onto the pot. Make sure you support the inside with your finger as well and with your thumb just gently press it on to secure it. I'm now going to make the next part of the eyes. I've taken two small pieces of clay, about the size of a pea, and I'm just using the palms of my hands just to roll them and just gently tap it, just to give you a flatter surface there so that it's easier to attach. Scored that one, I'm going to grab a little bit of slip, rub it onto the surface of the eye here and again onto the piece here which I've scored. Gently press to secure it into position. Use your thumb to just smooth the outside of the eye here. Support the inside of the pot with your finger and with your thumb just slide it into position. Gently press, give it a smooth. Now I'm going to make the beak. So I have a piece of clay this kind of size. I'm just going to gently roll it between my fingers and I'm going to just shape it into almost like a diamond shape. Use your finger and your thumb just to gently ease those edges into a point. Have a beak shape like this. And then place the beak into position here. Just gently with your thumb, press and hold for a minute to secure the beak. Finger inside, supporting the pot. If you have any scoring that's showing under here that you don't want, just dump your finger and just smooth that away. I've got a pointed tool here which I'm going to use to do some nostril holes. If you don't have one of these, you can use a wooden skewer. So I'm just gently carve in the nostrils. See, there's one there and then one on this side as well. I've rolled two small sections which are going to go over the top of the eyes here. I very carefully here need to score the back of this. Go very, very gently because it's a very thin piece. Slip applied with your finger. Slip here onto the main pot. And then I'm going to position this. Over this eye area here. So use your finger to support the inside of the pot and your thumb to gently press. With my thumb I'm just going to dampen it and then I'm going to just smooth this so that it blends into this eye area here. 
I'm going to smooth the edge of this section in like this. I've rolled two very thin shapes here and I'm now going to put those around the eyes and place them around the eyes very gently here and then just push them into position. I'm now going to add some texture. I've got a pointed tool here again if you don't have one of these you can use a wooden skewer. So I'm going to start from the inner eye here and very very gently and not too deep I'm going to trace a line across and outwards to the edge. Just take any clay off with your fingers and your thumb if you have any on the end of the point and then again very carefully fairly close to the first line and what we're going to do is fan it out so just change the direction very slightly as you come out under here just go as far as this top shape here just carefully draw in there start changing direction again to go slightly downwards. Don't worry if there's any little bits of clay left here. Once it's dry you can use a soft brush and to get rid of those. To keep the point nice and clear and sharp. If you make a mistake you can damp your finger and you can smooth it out and start again. I'm now going to add some texture to the top here to these feathers same way just very gently adding these tiny lines so I've just rolled out some clay with my rolling pin and I've made a couple of feathers here I'm just going to use it as a template so basically you place it onto your clay and just cut around it the edges and make a group of them ready to attach to the pot. I've cut out some smaller feathers here and I'm just going to put those along the top here and around the face. I'm going to turn those at a slightly different angle so that they're just starting to point upwards slightly as we go round the eyes. I've completely covered the pot with the feathers and the face and now I'm just going to let it dry for a couple of days.